Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Silly P. It's the start of another week. It's Monday the 24th of October and we've got new mods. We've got some updates too. Uh, we have got the Fent 500 Vario Gen 3 by Musagra. We've got the Cavernland Accord, the Cavernland Accord and Kubota Seed Pack by Arik. The Midwest Production and Feed Pack by Schultz Modding. That has added in canola to be made into biofuel and then you get canola meal as part of that. And the Workshop by Razak have all had updates. In front of me, we've got the Pioneer Silo. This is by Vergamini Modding, Lost Gamer and the Grangiero. 5.51 megabytes download, three slots on console. This will cost you 25,000 and it's a 150,000 litre multi-fruit silo. Uh, it takes pretty much everything, which is pretty cool. Putting in is done around the back here. Taking out is done here. The belt doesn't move or anything. It's showing bags because obviously the intimation is you're putting it in it's being bagged up covered with the tarp and then you collect the bags but obviously it's just say oh, no not obviously it's not obviously um when you come under here it works like a regular you know a silo of any description you just pull your trailer up click on it and your items will come out not as bags they'll come out as loose material but build mode silos out on the very end, like I say, 25 grand for 150,000 litre mop fruit silo. Doesn't take up a huge amount of space, not a big footprint on it. So, uh, I have to say, pretty good there. That's by Vergamini Modding, Lost Gamer and Grangero. We're going to look at this next because I put it here for the thumbnail, so we might as well right next to it. This is the Chicken Coop Large by Omatana. 12.01 megabytes download. So, uh, there's 10 slots each. There are two of these. The prices are amazing. The capacities are brilliant. The smaller one holds 400, the larger one holds 800 chickens. The smaller one is 29,000, the larger one, double the capacity, is 39,000. So for only 10 grand more, you can double your capacity of your chickens. Again, this is the large one. Not a huge footprint on this, doesn't take up a load of space. It's nicely made, looks really cool. Your pallets will spawn here. Around the back here, you've got your dialogue box for your chickens. I say 53 of 800 on this one and then you've got your silo for putting your feed in this door does open chickens do kind of come up and under here if we go through to the other end if you look at these blind screens have a photo if I open this door here and go in it will give us the option here it says open door that doesn't open that one I don't, I don't know if that one does open I don't think so uh, but this one here if I press open door and we go back outside it lowers the screens down to get a bit more air through the whole thing. So in the warmer weather, or just to let the smell out if it hasn't been cleaned out for a while, whatever you want to do. That's nice. like that as a feature. Close that. Cool. Fairly straightforward, this one. I like straightforward. It makes my life easier. Under animals, under chickens. So like I say, you got that one there for 29 grand, 400. That one there for 39 grand. 800. It's a win-win. The smaller one, the building's exactly the same, it's just the pen is a little bit smaller, so it's a shorter pen vessel. Nice and take up a huge amount of space. Awesome. The Chicken Coop Large by Omatana. Moving on from there, we've got the Metal Tech TS16 and 16,000. TS16 is the more modern version and the TS16000 is the older Metal Tech uh, trailer version. These are by Mat26, 13.1 megabyte download, nine slots for the newer version, seven slots for the older version. They come in, this one is a 16,000 to 21,000 or you can go up to a 26, I think. That one only does a 16 and a 21. If you go for the 21 in that one, you can have a cover um, and they take pretty much everything nicely detailed with a few different options we'll have a look at in just a moment. Tire choices, etc. Uh, under that, you find these under trailers. So, we started with the TS-16, the more modern version. As I said, 21,000 litres, 26,000 litres, or we can go down to 16. 16 doesn't have a cop cover option. The 21 and the 26 do. So we'll go with the 21, it doesn't matter really. Uh, we've got Wheelbrand, Michelin, Trelleborg, Continental, BKT, Vredestein, back to Michelin. Michelin, we've got Wide, Standard, Wide 2, Wide, back to Standard. Trelleborg, Standard, Standard 2, Wide, Wide 2, 
wide three, back to standard. Continental, just that one. BKT, standard, wide. Freydestein, standard, wide, wide two, wide three, back to standard. Then we're back to the Michelins again. On the front, we can have a big window or a small window, so you can see whatever you've put in there. You can see how it's filling, that kind of thing. That's your choice. On the back, we've got slats, no or yes. So you give you a slatted back on there, so when you're pouring, it doesn't go straight down off the back. I mean, you can, but anyway, can you have the slats on there, yes or no? Then we have attacher, standard, or with a trailer attacher. That will attach a pin hitch trailer, um, but it won't attach a ball hitch trailer, because I thought I could link a couple of these together, but it won't do a ball hitch, which is often the case with those kind of, tra kind of trailer hitches. Cover, yes or no. So like I say, depending on what size you've gone for, you can have a cover on there. Uh, chassis colour, as you can imagine, does the underside of that. Main colour, cover colour, if you've got your cover on, hang on, let's do that, that, cover colour, and then licence plate option on there too, then the one right next door, the TS16000, 16 or 21, there's no 26,000 litre version, on the 21,000 litre we have got a cover option, on the 16 that disappears, so you don't have a cover option, so depends what you want to go for. Uh, tire options, uh, attaches, chassis colour, main colour are exactly the same um, as the previous one. As far as I can tell, the tire choice is the same. Michelin, trailer board, Continental, BKT, Vredestein, and back to Michelin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Y2, Y3. Yeah. And the colour options too. So, let's start that up. Cover open and closed, as you might imagine. We have got the option for tip side back, tip side grain door, tip side grain door. Fairly slow unload speed, but I mean, realistic, but you know, some of them are much quicker, just it's always good to have a look and see what they're like. Grain door, left and back. Okay, so we have got a left. I don't think the TS it might do well. I'll have to check that now. Again, making assumptions. I made the assumption at the grain door and back, didn't think of left and right. We'll have a quick check on the 16,000 just in case. It looks like it has got a hinged section, so it might well have. Tip side back, grain door, yeah, left. Grain door. So, yo, the Metal Tech TS 1616000 to buy Matt 26. Lovely. Next, we've got these. I thought about putting like five or six together. It looks a little bit like a centipede when they're all attached. But anyway, this is the Lizard MSL 3500. This is by Gian FS, 9.66 megabytes download, five slots for the first one. These are small auger wagons. You can have a 3,500 litre or a 4,500 litre. These will take the regular auger wagon type crops, so uh, mostly grain crops and then seed and fertiliser, but they don't do everything. Uh, the auger pipe, as you can see on this one, when, you're, when you've got it stowed, when you're driving along, it just sits like that, so it doesn't unfold. You kind of bolt it on and then away you go. That's how it looks when it has got the auger pipe attached. There's no raising and lowering or anything like that on it. But they do have a rear trail itch, and you can daisy chain them together. So if you want to have a 4,500 litres of seed, 4,500 fertiliser, you know, and you can take it out to your field and you know, top up stuff as you go, it works really well. Uh, you'll find under, as I said, auger wagons. There we go. Only seven grand. 3,500 or 4,500. Only has five, uh, no. That's interesting. What's already got plus 500? Oh, this is rice tyres. I was going to say, hang on, it's 7,000. Yeah, the rice tyres have already got 500 on there. But for an extra grand, we can increase it by 1,000 litres. We've got Lizard, Michelin, Continental, Vredestein, back to Lizard. Under Lizard, we've got rice tyre, reversed. Rice tyre 2, reversed. Back. Michelin, standard, reversed. Continental, standard or reversed. Reversed, inverted. Vredestein, standard, inverted. And then back to Lizard. We've got stickers no. 
black one, black two, black three, white, one, two, three, back to no. Rear hitch, yes or no. Shovel, yes or no. Decorative item on the front there, just for helping. It's gravity sort of fed, but, you know. Uh, and then we've got main colour choice, anything on that palette. Rim colour, any one of those three. And that's it. So, what we'll do, hop in, start that up. So, unfold, like that, like that. Actually, we'll just double check in case we've got a nozzle movement on there. Don't think we have. No. Uh, back up and hook up to that one, takes the log away. Like I say, it's, they're not expensive. And if you are just doing a little bit of seed, a little bit of fertiliser or whatever you're doing, you might just have a small farm and just need a small auger. I think that works really well when you can link them together. And I suppose as your farm grew, you could make the choice to do I just buy a larger organ wagon or I could just put another one or two behind. Or, yeah, however you want to go about it, of course. It's your choice. Fold that one. Fold that one. And off you go. Very cool indeed. So that's the uh, Lizard MSL 3500 by GNFS. Next we've got this, the Shovel. This is 0 0.09 megabytes download, one slot on console. This is by A Dub Modding ABP team. It's got a 200 litre capacity. You'll find it under tools, under miscellaneous. There you go. Only 26 to buy. So if you want to go for a kind of more realistic feel for, you know, whether it's not necessarily cleaning animals out, we don't often have that now, but if there is some mucking out to be done or just moving things around or whatever you want to, it's entirely up to you. We can change the main colour of the actual blade itself. If you wish, you pick it up, and what you should do is tilt it, and then it will scoop, like that. But when you do that, I have found, you then lose the ability to lift it. So if you come off of it again, then go to pick it back up again, you've then got the option to then move it around. I just found once you'd scooped it, it wouldn't let you move it. But then you can twist it around, move it however you want. Uh, if I tip it over now, it should, hang on, come on, tip off. There we go. <laughs> I do get there in the end. So yeah, 200 litre shovel. This wheel strapped down. I bought it out uh, on, oh, with the vehicle I'm going to show you next. I bought it out on that and it's strapped down on there, no problem at all. You can throw it in the back of the vehicle and do whatever you want with it. It's in touch you. The shovel by ADAP Modding, ABP team. Next, we've got the Tricycle King. I think we had this on 19, didn't we? I'm sure we did. Tricycle King, 2.75 megabytes download. So I slight Jez Modding, four slots for the main vehicle. Then we've also got under miscellaneous, we've got a little tank. That's a 100 litre, I think it is. And then under low loaders, we've got this attachment that goes in the back, gives you a little frame with straps. You can put pallets, bales, logs, all sorts of stuff on it. It's entirely up to you. That will take milk, diesel, liquid fertiliser, herbicide, water. Like I said, it's not a huge capacity, but yeah, it's there if you wanted to use it. Uh, under vehicles, under cars, this is only 4,500. Yeah, 4,500 for the tricycle. Main colour choice, anything on that palette. Ooh, shiny gold. Uh, rim colour, again, anything on that palette. Go through, have a look. There's going to be something you're probably going to like. 23 horsepower. <coughs> it's not, no, it's not insane. 22 miles an hour. If we come out of there and we go to our tools, uh, it was, what did I say? It was miscellaneous, wasn't it? Out on the end there is where you'll find the liquid tank. Only 300 to buy, 100 litre. Change the main colour of that. Turn it on that pallet, and if we go to low loaders, out on the end on there, you'll see the, it says conveyor harrow. I'm not sure why that hasn't been changed, actually, because it's not a harrow. It's Anyway, there you go, 250. It says 100 kilos, and anything on that pallet for the colour of it. I don't know why I keep going to those two colours. I have no idea. Let's jump on, start it up. Horn. I'm just about to hear it. Lights. So lights are pretty bright, to be fair. I love the way the little engines are smooth. A little bit of vibration there. If we back up to that, it'll give me the option to hook up. And it'll put it on there. Now, when you come to detach, if I press detach, it detaches it, but you have to lift it off to move it to put it wherever you want to go. You can, if you want to as well, you can, again, if you want to be a bit more realistic with it, you can do that. Jump on, then press to attach, and it will attach. There are four straps on the back of that, so whatever you want to put on it. I went for a pallet of cakes. This is just from the liftable pallets mod. Normally you can't lift all the pallets, but... 
So whatever you want to transport, like I say, logs and anything. Anything you want. Small bales, large bales. You choose. And off you go to do your cake delivery. Wondrous. Uh, if we go to this one, we'll back up. Again, you can lift the tank up yourself and put it on. Even when it's full, we've we'll got 100 litres of milk in that one. Lights on and off we go. First person. Little uh, digital display down there. Now, it doesn't have a trailer hitch. That'd be pretty cool actually if you could put one of the little. Um... Oh, what's the name of the company? Oh, mine's gone blank. Um, what's that, Salek? Is it Salek? Yeah, the Salek. Get one of those little Salek trailers or something on the back of it, that'd be pretty cool. But there's no, there isn't a trailer hitch attachment. I was just saying it would be cool if there was, but. Anyway, there you go. Actually, you better turn the lights off. Don't want to drain the battery, do we? So that's the Tricycle King by Sloitches Modding. Next, we've got this. This is the small house. Sorry, small new house. This is by uh, Michael LS, a 6.95 megabytes download, 16 slots on console, 45,000 to buy. You find it under build mode, under farmhouses. Second in from the end, 45 grand. Sort count will come down to one. You can't go into the building itself. The garage door doesn't open or anything like that. It's just a, it's just a sleep trigger, basically, but you've got the house kind of with it. Uh, sleep trigger is just there, and it's fairly wide sleep trigger. And then we got our open wardrobe trigger, just there as well. There you go. Small new house by Michael L S. Uh, moving on from there, we've got this. This is the Class Quadrant 1200 by Camelos 0397. 9.65 megabytes download, seven slots on console. It is a, a large square baler. Another nicely made mod. It's an older style, as you can see, quite a boxy construction, but it will do the job. It's not as expensive as the modern balers, but there are there are cheaper alternatives out there, but again, it depends what you want to go for. You might look at this and think, this is perfect, it's exactly what I want. There's quite a few different tyre cho choice options on this as well. You will find it under balers. So if you think of a large square baler like the Class Quadrant, the newer version, 153 grand, or you know, some of the really new ones, we do have, I don't know if I've got any installed actually. No, there's a couple knocking around for about 12 grand if you want to go really, really cheap. It's 83,500. Not mega expensive, to be fair. Um, I said the slot count was seven, didn't I? That comes down to one. We have got the option of Trelleborg, Freydenstein, Midas, BKT, Nokian, back to Trelleborg. And the Trelleborg, standard, standard two, wide, wide two, wide three. Fredestein, wide, wide two, wide three. Mitus just comes with that one. BKT just comes with that one. It's got kind of like a smoothed off flotation tyre. Knock-in just comes with that one, and we're back to Trelleborg. You have a dealer label, yes or no? Don't have to have that on there. Fire extinguishers, yes or no, but it's one front and one rear. Silage additive tanks, so if you want to go for silage additive, if you are doing silage bales, um, you can do that. Uh, main colour. Any one of those. The two different greens, it was kind of hard to distinguish, really, between them. But they are on there, and there's also a black option, if we go for that. Design colour, we've got two white options. Again, it's hard to tell, but there should be a difference. And then rim colour, we've got um, a couple of reds, then we've got three different silvers. A grey and a beige, if you wish, and then license plate option on there too. I'm only going to do one bale of one particular bale size. You can do 180, 220s, and 240s. I'm on 180, 220, 240s. As I say, when I do baling normally or look at balers, bear in mind each different sort of baler, round or square, has different sizes anyway on them, plus hay, grass, and straw have different size bales depending on the different sizes you choose as well. So doing one of each of each would, you know, it gets a little bit uh, excessive. Open it up like that. Beacon strobed on the back. I've got a silage additive tank on there, but I didn't put any silage additive in it. We turn it on. Drop the pickup.
let's go. Nice and smooth, pickup seems fairly wide. Obviously it's always going to depend on the size of the swath you've done, the bigger the swath, it doesn't always necessarily pick it up. This might be one that will do three bales on it before it, it puts it all out. I'm just trying to think, I might get one, two, we'll be onto the third before the first one comes off the back, I would imagine. Yeah, we're onto the third now, aren't we? That's pretty cool, that. Nice looking baler, does the job. There you go, stop there, unload the bales I've already got. Pretty cool. The class quadrant 1200 by Camelos 0397. Moving on, we have this, the New Holland T7 Series Tier, tier 4A by STV Modding, 30.86 megabytes download, 21 slots on console. There's quite a few different choice options on this one as well. We run through some New Holland, some New Holland Blue Power, there's a Fear Agri option, there's the older New Holland style as well, but I'll show you all those in the menu. Another nicely made, another nicely detailed tractor mod. As you can see, now this is an interesting one. You can have extra trumpets, horns on the roof, but you don't get, I thought you'd get a kind of fog horny, you know, sometimes you get the mods that do that and it's proper, it's actually still a bit of a Thomas Tank Engine, like peep peep kind of sound, um, but hey, it's all right. <laughs> it's still a horn, it still does the job. It's obviously it's there for a visual, but this you'll find under vehicles, under medium tractors, so, right out on the end, the T7 series starts at 152,000. Slot count comes down to one. We can have the T7 220. So we've got 218 horsepower, the blue power, 234 horsepower, the blue power. So it just changes, changes the decals and puts the uh, grill on the top section. Uh, seat as well, I think, changes, doesn't it? You get the blue power seat in there as well. Uh, we've then got 250 horsepower and the blue power. 260 horsepower and the blue power, 270 and the blue power, 310 and the blue power. Then we go on to the older style. So we've got the T7030, T7060, so 210 horsepower, 240 horsepower, 250 horsepower, 260 horsepower. That's the blue power version. Then we go on to the 220 Fiat power. So it changes a few bits and bobs on there. And you can choose a Fiat color later on as well if you want to. And then we're back to the T7220. Will Brand, we have got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Trelleborg. Those three. Well, Trelleborg, I've already said, but those three. So we got that, 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 and that. Under Michelin. So as you can see, as it, as it does it, going for the wide options, on the rear mudguard, it adds on the extension on the mudguard and gives you the warning uh, squares on the back. Did that for the other one as well. Uh, under Continental. And then we're back to Trelleborg again. Uh, design. What did I go for? I'm trying to think now. Might have been... I can't think what I went for, but anyway. I've got the, the warning squares. Then Design. We've got Standard. Trumpets. So this is what I was saying. Trumpets on the top. Extra Lights. Extra lights and trumpets. Then it takes that off and goes extension, which actually takes the front mud guards off. You have that with extra lights, but that doesn't have five white lights. It has smaller lights. Two on the outside are white lights, and three in the middle are orange. Then extra lights two, which has the trumpets back on, then back off again. So yeah, there's a few different options on the roof and lights and bits and bobs you can have a look at. Front three-point link or a front weight. Just those two options. Main colour, so as I said, we've got the blue. There's a dark blue, which isn't necessarily, that's not the blue power. The blue power comes next, the shiny one. There's a lighter shiny. Then we've got the Fear Agri, as I said, and then that one, we've got a shiny option on that too. And then there's a black option, should you choose it. Design colour, 
that does the grill and the shroud for the exhaust. Um, we've got that in black, silver, or beige, which gives you a kind of gold look on that one. And then rim color, we've got the white, the gray. We've got a special, which is the darkened silver, lighter silver, and then there's also a, a beige on there too, with a license plate option, if you wish. Let's hop in, let's start it up. So you'll see me about the horns. With the lights on the top, or lights all round, but those lights on the top come on. Beacons. So as far as what opens and closes, under R1 and right stick side to side, we got the roof, I think it was. Yep, so the little sunroof on the top opens, a little bit of ventilation. Uh, L1, right stick side to side, does the rear window. Right stick up and down, does the left door. L1 and R1, there isn't one. It does sound nice and moves nice. And like I said, tyre options, I like these big chunky tyres. I like that dark grey, sort of silver on the wheels. Interior, really nicely detailed. I like all the decals, like the one on the windscreen as well. Lights on the dash. It's a nice mod. The New Holland T7 Series Tier 4A by STV Modding. Moving on from there, we've got this. This is the Schaefer 4670T with rear weights by Togrim. 6.57 megabytes download, 10 slots on console. This is the same amount of slots as the standard in-game one and the same price for the base model. And then we've got a few options, as you can see, different colours and stuff. On the back section there, and if you can see just on the back, as that comes around in the grey, those darker sections there, they're the weight options. We'll see them in the menu in a second. So you can have some rear weights on the back of there as well. Just gives you a bit more balance if you've got some larger weight over the front. This is a nice, another nicely made mod. You know, it's obviously it's taken the base game version, tweaked it a little bit, and we've got a few other options. This you'll find under telehandlers. So the standard one there, 56,510 slots. At the very end, 56,500. That 10 slots comes down to one. So our options, back weights. Let's see if we can see them go on. There we go. Left or right of that rear bumper? No. 2,204 pound, 3,306 pound, or off again. You can see the tyre deformation and the weight pulling down the back. Beacon light? No or yes. Wheel set up, standard or wide? I do like the whites on that. That does look really cool. Uh, chassis colour? Anything on that palette. Rim colour? We do have a chrome at that end, or anything on that palette. And those are your choices. It runs and works like a regular Schaefer wheel loader, a, a telehandler. Extension the boom, the lighting, including the boom light as well. Beacon, if you've gone for the beacon option. Plus, I, I really do like it with those, uh, those wide tyres. Gives it quite an aggressive stance, but also you would imagine nicely planted, nice wide stance. Got the rear weights in it as well. Very nice indeed. The Schaefer 4670T with rear weight by Togrim. Then we can move on to the last of our mods for today. And it's these the Grain Shed Pack by Missy B. 9.49 megabytes to download. We have got a, I say a single grain shed. A single grain shed with a wall down the middle of it. That says, now these aren't silos in that they, you've got an in and an out shoot or anything like that. But it says that will hold about 2 million litres. That's got a wall down the middle. We'll have a look in a second. That's a single shed with no wall. Says it will hold 2 million litres. And then that's the double so it's split either side with a wall down the middle, and that says that'll hold two million each side, so four million. Uh, we'll have a look into this one first, and we'll have a look at them in the build mode. These are eight slots each. The one with a wall in the middle is 15,000 to buy. The one without a wall is 10,000 to buy. The double is 25,000 to buy. We've got a light switch just here. 
Now, what I wanted to check, I don't always do this. When you get a, a shed that says it will hold grain and have, it has a retaining wall, I do it with silage clamps, but I don't often do it with the sheds, and I, I thought I probably should, was to check clipping through the wall. I know it's not all like bleeding, however you want to refer to it. There's a little bit, tiny little bit. It's not like it's. if you put two different crops in there, you're not going to get them blending together, but because that's gone right up there and you've got a tiny little bit on that side and there's a, there was a tiny little bit on the back. Um, I haven't put a huge amount here, as you can see. But you don't have to use it for grains. Or, you know, you can just put your bales in here or put your vehicles in or whatever you want. It's your choice, of course, as always. Then we've got the single-doored, single, without a wall in the middle. So more to the point, if you are, if you are going to put grains in this one, you would have more trouble because you can't separate them, so you might only go for one grain type in this. If you can do that. Light switch I've already put on, that's there. And this one's a little bit more peculiar. The outside lights, those don't have them. This one does. The light switch is on the outside here, so I thought, oh, that's obviously for the outside lights. So I clicked that on. I don't think the outside lights came on, but the interior lights did. As you can see... But there's not another light switch, so I'm assuming the exterior lights are automatic that come on at night. I'm just going to double check actually on the. Let's have a look on the mod hub. Um, doesn't actually say. I assume so. But as you can see with this one, these don't have a central wall. It does have a central wall between them, so each side of this should hold about two million litres. But again, if you're not going to put crops stuff and stuff in there, you can just store bales, vehicles, pallets, whatever you like. It's entirely up to you. Nicely made. Not bad sizes and not bad prices when you think 10, 15, and 25 grand for the size of them. Pretty good. Under build mode, under sheds. As we get up to there, 15, 10, 25. And you can kind of see the larger sort of footprint of them. From the air. And that's it. That's by Missy B. That's it for the mods for today. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.